As a fighter, I respect uh, Cabbage Reed. What's your name? I, I, Cabbage. Um, but at the end of the day, man, um, we're gonna have fun. Training camp was great. We don't watch. Well, you be with me when I knock you out cold. So what are you gonna say about that? Well, maybe look terrible. Ugly too. Ugly too. So what are you gonna say about that when I knock you out? You, you ugly too. Mm. Everybody knows. Say From Newport, Wales, Gavin Reese and the rain. It's fight time, man. One half pounds. His professional record, 37 victories. With 19 knockouts, only one defeat and one draw. 25 fights. 25 victories, including 21 knockouts from Cincinnati, Ohio. Sit it low. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's get this thing on. When we did that DeMarco performance to follow that up, he said he's not going to try to top him. Infected squeaker. So we'll see whether the bookmakers have willowier, as you can see. Quicker, it almost goes without saying. Free Earl Brown moves forward to caution him on it. <laughs> Reese is not fighting like he's intimidated. Try to win. You know what else? He's showing some speed here early. Reese is. <laughs> He did as hard has contented himself to throw a couple of jabs. <laughs> hasn't unleashed the right. Has a uh, reach that is that he's backing up. He can't back off of him because he has to push Broner back. Then it will be. Broner seems very relaxed. <laughs> Three more good body shots for Reese. Broner finally throws the right hand. It was just a good left hook by. Another right hand land. That's quite a duck. Body shots. Something that we haven't seen many guys try on Brunner, but at least he came to try something different. That was a good double left to the far. He's executing it. And he's ha hates his hands. More body shots for solidly, but it's most of the punching is being done by Reese. What, what Brunner's doing is trying to take Reese harder to take his confidence away. Reese is a cocky little Welshman. This is also moving his head more than he has in the past. One of the reasons the odds were owner's a big puncher. But you heard the caution of Gary Lockett between rounds, and he said, watch out. Let go, let go, let go. Left hook lands from the crowd. He and he lands Brunner. two more body shots. He caught Brunner in the thing, at least so far, that the good old times did, which is use their lack of height to their advantage, but comes hard for their opponent to hit them. But staying outside, he's going to run into some big problems with that straight right hand. And now Broner's starting to land some clean shots. Right hand lead. Good right hand. Another good body shot for Reese. Another right. But that straight right hand is starting to close the eye a little bit. He may want to start trying to keep that off of him. But still the straight right lead. Straight down the middle. Boom, good right hand down the middle. But he Reese catches him while he's in the middle of a shuffle with a good left hook. It's power shots. Right, even though Broner landed some good shots. In in. Left attempt to find his range as Reese comes in. Round three, boardwalk. Good right hand by. Dropping his hand and showing Broner his head movement. One cocky little Welshman. And he has a sneak that it's invisible to, to Broner to the last second. There it is, right there. Broner's hand speed starting three. Almost dropped him with that left hook. Uppercut. Tell you what, Reese has the heart of a champion. Uppercut lands for Broner. Starting to get more accurate. Starting to pick Reese off. Break, 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 and Reese reaches out and grabs and holds one of the crowd. 
And, and here's one of the elements about the hand lead has been his best weapon. After that, he pushed, launched a big attack against the ropes. He did with a nice upcut, a right hook. For Reese, yeah. Adrian Broner went to a different. Harold, how do you have it? Two, three. You know, Jim, the momentum of the fight, he gave it the, gave the first two rounds away. In round three, he dropped good right hands on Gavin Reese. He clearly won the third round. Two to one. Broner gave him a little distance and started oh. coming in. There he is. Gavin Reese. Oh. And he's hurt pretty Six. bad. Seven. When he went down against, that was in the 12th round after a long fight. So this is those body shots again and slow Broner down a little bit. But Broner is getting into the target practice area. He knows Reese is going to be right there in front of him, so he's letting him have it right there in front of him. And look into the jaws of the lion. And he has a big heart. And he's perfectly prepared for this fight, and he had a perfect... Still some fight left in Gavin Reese. A lot of fight left in Reese. It'll be interesting to see what Gary Lockett has to say. They have a great future doing that. Tell you what, I like Broner's attack up and down. He feels old. He has a, a calculated body attack. He almost dropped him with a body shot right there. There's that beautiful right up cut right on the chin that uh, Reese was not looking for. Caught him off guard, and like we say all the time, the elbow, and boom, there was the right upper cut. Right as he thought Broner was going to exit. The arena. Now, that's that's Broner's father to the left. Back. And I think that's probably what Gary Lockett was saying between rounds is. Not stopping the fight just now. He did. He did. And the bad thing about it is that Broner just said the round before that. He's already gotten hit more in this fight than in his last three fights combined. Because <laughs> he, he, he's started to take a real beating in the last two rounds, but here he is. Oh, good shot. Our corner man in Gavin Reese's corner. And a good thing, I guess, because Reese has landed two solid right hands in this round. Doesn't get better than this as far as an effort. Yeah, he's taking a beating at the hands of Adrian. A lot of lightweights, and he's still fighting. And he hit. But he hits back as well. <laughs> who uses that stuff to do damage. 100%. He is right there down. to try to knock his opponent out. Oh, oh. Six, how you feel? Seven. And Reese said it was a low blow, Eight. but it was a body shot that Reese wasn't ready feel? for. He Good. thought it was. Now Reese is in trouble again, and Gary Lockett is up on the ring apron with the white. There's the TKOs. As trainer Gary Lockett gets what he wants. Good performance as a trainer. Yep. He had his... Roy. Yeah, I like the right hand lead. I love the right hand lead all night long, but the body shot here is the one he relaxed, and boom, there was the body shot right as he relaxed. And it wasn't low. It was right on or above oh, the a, belt line. A perfect left snot coming in, so he's still fighting, and there was a great body shot. You relax like that, and your stomach muscles go slack. Yeah, great as job. Broner was firing combinations to Gavin Reese's head, Lockett gave it a moment of wait and then had seen it up. Yeah. Faded from Cincinnati, Ohio, Adrian, the problem, bro. No, oh, there it is. You know, hey, you know I can't start no interview without getting my hair brushed. You know, that's the rich man, man. And anybody still can get it. Max, you can get it. Anybody can get it, man, you know. Any uppercut, uh. And him go down, down goes Reese. Reed, Reese, what's his name? Water, like a, like a neck bone. Uh, look at the body shot. We saw you at one, we saw the uppercut. What's your best shot? Um, my best shot is when I take a picture. Somebody take a picture of me.